Hello and welcome to the Immigrant Programmer channel. This is Pranav and in the last video we saw how a bug in the billing system of Google Firebase caused a bill of $72,000 to a young company to a startup almost making them bankrupt. They gave them a bill of $72,000 for just 2 hours of usage. We saw all the problems related to Google Firebase and GCP and we saw all the loopholes that you should avoid whenever you use the system. So now we know all the problems in the Firebase, but what we don't know is the other side of the story. Because Firebase a billing system says that you only need to pay 6 cents per 100,000 requests. So that means the company who got a bill of $72,000 actually made 116 billion requests in just one hour. Let's have a look at the implementation or the algorithm of the company announced and see what problem was there in the first place. So we can see that in the pseudocode we have here, we have the cloud run, which is basically the website link. So what they want to do is they want to scrape through a website. They want to see if there's anything relevant, worthy of making a new announcement. And then they want to see if there's any another link, any anchor tag in the website. Well, if there is another anchor tag, they want to make a new thread, a new instance, which would go through the website link in the anchor tag. So let's say you have page number one, and then you have five links in that page. The, they want one thread to go through the first page, whereas they will instantaneously start a second thread that will go through the second page, third thread that will go to the link number two, and so on. So this is the basic logic what they wanted to do. Let's see in their own uh, pseudocode. So they have a cloud run with a website link. As we said, that's perfect. They are scraping the website, perfect. And if that website has an event, they want to write it to Firestore. So they, if the website finds any event worth announcing, they will write it to Firestore. So that is pretty common, that is basic. But after that, they have a loop for every anchor tag. And for every anchor tag, they want to see if this anchor tag is not already in the array or in the database, they will trigger a new cloud run. So basically they will store a new link over there and they will start a new thread that will go through the page. After that, this is a continuous process, but can you tell me any problems in this implementation? Before going into the problem, if you didn't understand the implementation, that means I did a very bad job. So let me try again. Let's see this diagram. Here we have one instance which is going, uh, which for each link in the web page, they will send the link in post request to the cloud run instance. So what they'll do is whenever they find a new link, they will link it to the cloud instance and they will save it over there. And then they will start another cloud run service, basically, which is scalable to 1000 instances. They will start another service, which is called instance two in this case, which is going to do the same thing. It's going to scrape the URL. It's going to save the relevant events in the database. And that URL will also in turn see some links in the website which will start another post request, save another uh, URL in the database, start another cloud run service, and at this point, it was scalable to 1,000 instances. So basically, they can have up to 1,000 instances going through different websites, storing n number of anchor tags in the database to be scraped in the future. This looks pretty optimized. This looks pretty good because they are going with a high speed of 1,000 instances so this is a highly parallel code, which to some people, they will find that it's very efficient, but it has a huge, huge problem. If you look closely, this flow is missing two important pieces. Number one, it has exponential recursion without break. So the instances don't know when to stop. There's no break statement. There's no limitation. They will go on and on and they will go forever, which is obviously a problem. But the post request that they make they can also have same URL. So what can happen is website A has a link to website B and then website B has a link to website A. Now this is a never ending loop. This is an infinite recursion and soon they can have thousand instances running and producing no efficiency, producing no new announcement or event and taking the whole bandwidth of the system. And at one point they were making 1 billion requests per minute which in turn caused 116 billion reads and 33 million writes into the database. And if we see the cost of just the reads, forget about the writes. If you just see the cost of reads, as I told you before, it's six cents per 100,000 reads. But when you multiply that with 116 billion 
it turns out to be almost 70,000. Well, 69,600 to be precise, but that's a, that's a pretty, that's a pretty bad algorithm that is a lot of mistakes in the implementation. Yes, Firebase has billing problems, but this, this is really bad. This is bad. Let's see all the mistakes made by Announce AI and their employees. And the first one is deploying flawed algorithm on the cloud, which we now understand pretty well as we saw the basic flaw in their own implementation. But the second one is deploying cloud run with default options. Whenever you set up a cloud run, you have some options that you can change that you can uh, personalize according to your own uh, understanding. But if you don't have good understanding to cloud run and Firebase and you are just using it out for testing purposes, it can be a big problem because by default, the max instances that, they, that you can run is 1000 uh, and the con concurrency is set to 80. So what happens is you are a beginner and you don't understand what the default value mean and you just go ahead and click next and bam, the default values are saved. But now this is the worst case scenario because as you saw in the example we showed before, they had 1000 instances. And just to show you the power of that, if the max instances were chosen to be two, the, uh, their cost would have been 500 times less. The bill would have just been for $144. So you, by now, you should understand the big problem with the default options. You cannot just go ahead and say, I want to run 1000 instances. Well, you should never do that, especially if you don't have a budget of hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend every day. You should choose two or maybe five instances to run in parallel and your bill would be significantly less. Bank $44 in this case, if, you, if they had just two instances. And if the concurrency was set one, they wouldn't even notice the bill. They wouldn't even see any kind of bill. It would be like 50 cents or 80 cents. The third mistake is using Firebase without understanding it completely. Firebase is not a language. You cannot just learn it over the internet or by books. You actually need a lot of experience in order to understand the subtleties of the Firebase or any cloud system. Why? Because they have rules defined by them, defined by Google. They are not defined by the law of nature or they are not something a programmer can just imagine. Also, while writing the code in Node.js, you must take care of background processes because in their case, there were thousands of background processes which they thought were killed, but they were running in the background. Fail fast, learn fast is not a good approach for any cloud service. Cloud overall is like a double-edged sword. And you can't really say that I'll make a mistake, I'll learn from it, and I'll then I'll use it correctly because till that time, you might just go bankrupt. So the proper way is to go through the documentation, to go through each and every word, each and every page in the documentation to understand how that service works, how the cloud works. And well, now you can imagine, now you can understand why there are full time jobs just for people who work on the cloud. And on a positive side here, kudos to Firebase and Cloudrun because we saw that they can really handle a lot of requests. Firebase was able to handle 1 billion requests per minute. So that is really powerful. Yes, the, there was a problem in the implementation, but if you just look at Firebase, handling 1 billion reads per minute is a really impressive performance. And same goes, and same goes on for the Cloud Run. They handled with a concurrency of 60 and max containers 1000, they handled 9 million requests per minute. That is so impressive, kudos to them. Also, they could have used Cloud Monitoring. Cloud monitoring does not stop the billing, but it sends you timely alerts. So in every three to four minutes, they can send you alerts that what's happening. And if you have good cloud monitoring, and if you set it up in the right way, according to your own needs, it might just help you save a lot of dollars, thousands of dollars in this case. I know what you must be thinking. You must be thinking if the company actually survived or went bankrupt and closed the doors. Well, they survived. Thanks to Google. After going through a lengthy documentation on this incident, sharing their side of story, various reports, docs, internal discussion, Google let go of the bill and gave them a one-time gesture of paying off the bill themselves, allowing the company to survive, allowing the company to not go bankrupt, allowing them to continue their business. And this is a big gesture by Google and I salute them for that 
They allowed a company, but even the company had some mistakes and Firebase had mistakes obviously, but they worked together and they allowed the company to see another day. And I really appreciate that on Google. And I'm glad to say Announce was finally launched this November in 2020. I'll add a link to their website down in the description. So if you want to check it out, check it out. Let me know in the comment down below what is your favorite cloud provider. And while you are at it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and until next time.